Hola, bienvenidos and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be totally different from the makeup and my life in Mexico. This is something different. This is a DIY video. So let me give you a brief history to the reason why I'm doing this. So we went to Nigeria. We came back the first night. We got home. We got in like midnight. So around 2.45 in the morning, I wake up to see on the floor beside my bed saying mama 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 I was like oh okay maybe he came down from the bed or something and so in the morning I'm like can I did you pick him from the bedroom he was like no maybe you did and trust me guys I love to sleep so me and Kenna just believe that I picked him from the bed without knowing and I put him down in our bed and he must have gotten down off the bed I, you know one couldn't get back in the next night around 2 45 the same thing happened she's like okay we're gonna lock our bedroom door because obviously he's coming down so on tuesday morning lo and behold our door was locked well it wasn't locked with a key but we just closed over here chicka, 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 chicka. and there was kai opening our door and waltzing in so the next day in the morning, because we have a camera in their room, but the video f doesn't store the video footage. So the next morning, when we woke up, as we'd seen that he's obviously climbing out of his bed, we put him inside his crib after getting ready for school. And that's what I'm going to show you guys what he was doing. So, let's see. Yes, so we've concluded that Kai is climbing onto the bed. And if you can see the bed, let me turn it a bit. This is his crib. This is high. Yes, he's taller than it, I agree, but it's still quite high for him to be scaling over. So, you take off this part and you put a bumper because this is a three in one crib, it isn't the four in one crib. So, the four in one cribs will come with something smaller where it's like a shield so that they can climb in and out of bed but if they're lying down and they roll they won't fall off the bed because that's my greatest fear because as you can see we have a towel here so here i'm just checking out what length i need on my swimming noodle that's what we're going to use to create the barrier and you're going to need just three so i'm just checking across the length of the crib i'm going to mark it and then i'm going to use that mark to cut the other three and I'm gonna cut all three. I tried to use a scissors, but the scissors wasn't working, so we're gonna use a knife to cut it. It's gonna be like cutting into some meat or cutting into your vegetables. No kids were around, so nobody was harmed in making this video, and obviously I was very, very careful. So now that we have the three of them in approximately the same length, I'm gonna take scotch tape and I'm using this particular gray one because I see that it does stick better to foam rather than using the clear ones or the brown ones. So I'm gonna take two of the noodles, lay them side by side, and use the scotch tape to hold it in exactly three places. Now I'm going to take the third one and place it directly on top of the two. Third one is going to make it look like a triangle but instead of holding it in just three places I'm going to hold it in four places to make sure that it's extra secure. So all the items I used to make this crib barrier or what would you call it I bought in Walmart to create the barrier for the kids. So now I'm going to put it into this bed and we're gonna see how it if it fits well if not I'm gonna shave off some more from the sides and I'm gonna put it in and I'm gonna place it under the bed sheet a fitted bed sheet so that it stays under the mattress and doesn't come off 
if you know what I mean. Moving on to the next thing. So now that Kenna has finished taking off this part of the bed, like I said, this is what they call a toddler crib stroke day bed. I did demonstrate climbing in and climbing out of the bed. That's what we were trying to achieve. I did purchase all the items from my local Walmart store each and I used three. So that was 90 pesos. And I can't remember how much the scotch tape cost me, but it was definitely less than 50 pesos. So in total, Everything I used to create this barrier cost me only 150 pesos. So how's that for saving you some coins? So that's it guys, that's my DIY twin mom here, you know, helping you do things on a budget. Thank you so much for watching my video. See you guys in my next video.